Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome back. So it is now spring 2020, according to Yankee Candle. All of their new scents are out. Any of their new products that they were going to release are now released for the season. And that brings us to a new product this year. Heard about it last year. Finally came out. Um, officially to say Yankee Candle. I got my hands on about a week ago at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, and I know some folks uh, who work for Yankee Candle also got it uh, further back than that to test out. So I have been testing this out uh, on my own dime for the past week. So uh, I think I have a pretty much a fair amount of time in here to review this. And that is, of course, the new in-car plug-in diffuser. Um, oh, there we go. Good catch. This is the new diffuser from Yankee Candle. Um plugs into your uh, cigarette lighter, or they call them, you know, it's not perfectly correct anymore, right? 12 volt power accessory adapter, whatever you want to call it there. Um, car powered fragrance kit is what it is called. Car filling true to life fragrance for up to 60 days, mess free fragrance refill. This retailed for $11 at Bed Bath & Beyond. I used a 10 off 15, you can use a 20% off if you want, but I bought something else. Um, bought a two wick medium tumbler of um, Cider House. It was on clearance, like six bucks. So I combined it and I paid basically, I don't know, $12 for all of it, for both things there. Uh, it's interesting. It's a good product. I really like it. So basically, it's this little piece of plastic and the top part here comes off. And there's this little, if I can get it out there, there's a little rubber disc inside, if I can get it out. Let's see here. There we go. It's a little rubber disc. Looks just like that. It says Yankee Candle on it. And you just put it in uh, here. This is what the inside looks like there. This is in the scent Midsummer's Night Dream. Now the kit, and then you just put this back on just like that. It, turns into place um you'll hear it click the kits come in midsummer night midsummer's night not the dream don't add the dream to it that's shakespeare play uh midsummer's night uh pink sands clean cotton and one of the i think a coconut scent so the starter kits in my opinion the fragrances are horrible so midsummer night is the only one that i would try um and i liked it so they also sell refills so here's the catch they sell the refills at bed bath and beyond you get two for eleven dollars that's 550 each yankee candle just came online today and they're going to be selling uh, refills single refills for seven dollars each but they have different fragrances so they have the leather scent they have uh, sun and sand and whole bunch of other scents that would actually interest me instead of Midsummer's Night. Um, and Clean Cotton's horrendous, uh, in my opinion. So on the back here, on the front, I don't know where it is, but we have off, low output, high output. I tried on both. Uh, the low output for me basically gave me nothing. Uh, the high output uh, is where I, I need to be. And this thing on my car plugs straight in. So I know some cars, they go in on an angle and they go in on an angle, then the scent is coming up. Mine just went in like that. So I'm at the mercy of the airflow in the car. However, I noticed these things take about 10 minutes to really kick in, um, in this cold weather. Uh, so there is a, a blue light inside here that shines whenever it is plugged in so that it, you know, it's on, so it's working. There's a blue light there. And so, like I said, cold weather right now, and I haven't been able to test it in warm weather. Yankee Candle won't get back to me on how they tested it because there's an asterisk on here that says, uh, it says last for up to 60 days. Uh, and the asterisk says uh, tested under controlled conditions. Now, what are those controlled conditions, Yankee? Are we putting it in the car and driving it around the block and that's all we do for the day? Or are we driving a stretch of 95 from Pennsylvania all the way up to, um, you know, Massachusetts there. Um, 
we're going to Deerfield and back. Does that count? Yeah. So what counts as a day? Um, and I will say that this product only emits fragrance when it's plugged in um, and warmed up. So right there is an advantage uh, if you don't drive too much um, or if you're just tired of the stupid little car jars that we pay $6 for now um, that only lasts like a week. You know, they give you a, a huge hit of fragrance for about a week and then they, they die off. Uh, this has been going for over a week now. I got it last Saturday, it's now Tuesday. And I've driven my car a few times and it's still going. But 15 minutes, uh, 10 to 15 minutes is when I feel it really kick in right now in this cold weather. Um, basically the instructions on the package, remove diffuser, unscrew the cap from the diffuser, place fragrance refill inside and screw cap on, adjust switch to control fragrance strength, plug in to 12 volt socket. That is all there is to this. This packaging was horrendous to open, but can't give them for trying. It is made in China. This is not made in the US. Um, yeah, that's cool. Um, you know, I like it. I'm gonna wait to see what the fragrances, all the fragrances are. Um, and so then I'm just gonna roll with, and there's a leather scent, but I don't know if I will, and I have leather in my car, but I don't know if I wanna smell leather while I'm driving. Um, maybe there's a water garden scent, I doubt it. Um, they're gonna go with the staple scents that everybody, everybody loves. Of course, the staple scents are the ones I don't like, but you know, it's uh, neither here nor there. But, good product. Now the other new product they came out with, um, it's these diffuser, not diffusers, um, you know the room sprays? Well, they now have a product that sits on your desk and you take the cap off the room spray and you put the bottle in this thing. It's a cylinder, decorative cylinder. And whenever you want fragrance, you just press on the cylinder and the spray goes up into the air. Okay, you buy a spray. It already has a way of emitting the fragrance. Why do I need a cylinder which, by the way, when I first saw the pictures, I thought they were like a stone ceramic. But no, they are a cheap plastic. They are the cheapest plastic I've ever seen. Uh, how lazy do you have to be to put that in there and just do that when I could just leave the bottle on my desk and I could just go whenever I want. Come on. Someone's going to buy it. Someone will buy it. Um, hey, if you want to buy it, go for it. Uh, I don't need to buy that. I... I I'll have to take the can, I'll put the can on my desk. You know, if you don't want to see the can, right? I don't know. Um, but that's like also 10 or $11, I think. And the starter kit comes with the same basic fragrances. Um, but there you have a wider variety of sprays, of fragrances because of the sprays over the past few years. They've all been in that same uh, format, uh, size format there. But I digress. If you buy it, let me know how you like it. I think that is the cheapest, cheapest plastic I've ever seen. Sorry, Yankee. Uh, just being real here. Uh, other than that, um, I love this product, though. I love the plug-in uh, diffuser there. Um, I know some people are going to say it looks like uh, drug paraphernalia. Um, the design is, you know, it's a, it's the design. Um, you know, it's just the plug-in, you know. So... Well, that's what I have for you on uh, on that front there. And, uh, yeah. So, let me know if you tried this product or the spray product. Um, and I think that's it for now. Oh, new wax formula. New wax formula um, for the tarts. Tarts. Uh, as we know, they stopped making tarts for new fragrances back in the fall. So, coming later this spring, early summer, uh, probably for fall, we're gonna have new wax tarts. They're gonna be like a little cup. They're gonna be, I don't even know. Like just take the stem part off and make this like a little wider. And that's what they're going to be. Um, it's apparently a new formula, we'll see. It's probably, if I had to guess, you know, they sell the six pack at Walmart, the outlets and now they even sell the six pack at some candle stores. Um, 
it's probably going to be just that whole thing bundled together but they gotta keep it to two dollars the votives were two dollars the tarts were two dollars so i think they're i doubt they're going to i think we're gonna see three dollar wax melt um i really have a feeling we're gonna see a three dollar wax melt i hope i'm wrong i do i do hope i'm wrong uh but yeah that's what i have for you guys so thanks for watching uh, and i'll see y'all real soon have a good one bye